Hey, and welcome back to the channel. Well, as you see right here, we have our 1955 Ford F100 project. Well, what we're doing today is gonna to be working on that bed. Now, if you subscribe to the channel and you follow it along, you'll see on this project here, we actually use some composite decking material in the bed. Well, what we're gonna to do today is show you exactly what we're gonna to do to finish that in so that the bed can be completed. So what I'm doing today is I'm working on the bed. So let's go ahead, get in here, and I'll show you what I've used. Okay, now I've used several things already. Now this, this right here is around $42 for a sheet of this. Now, while I've raised my bed floor up, this gap can be seen with the tailgate down. So this, I'm just going to cut it from the length of the bottom of this to where my elbow is gonna be for my wood. And I will simply place it right there. And this right here will be cut and I'll extend it and piece it together all along this whole entire section. So that's what this right here is for. This is just some thin diamond plate material and this is just filler. So this is what's gonna be right here in this section right here. And we may put some blue paint on this just because I don't like it too flashy. So right there, we've saved our aluminum by not getting scratched. If you follow the channel along, you already know I used this composite decking wood material. So some people have asked, okay, what are you gonna use for your bed strips? Well, once these right here are spaced exactly where they need to be, I picked up these pieces right here. Now these, this is just flat aluminum. This is one eight by one and one half eight foot pieces. Um, you can polish these right here up to be, you know, mirror finished chrome, but these are what I'm gonna be using for the spacing. I'm going to make little bitty tiny blocks that will sit in between each piece so that I make sure they're all evenly cut out and spaced exactly where they need to be. And then this right here will go right on top of that and put some stainless screws down on top of that to hold this down, okay? Okay, now you're wondering, okay, how is the wood gonna be held to the side? Well, let's go ahead and show you that right now. Okay, with this all the way up against the side of your bed, originally it sat here between these two pieces. I went and picked up the same material aluminum, which I'll be putting all the way down that bedside edge, holding it down and screwing it to the outside of the body. Now, that right there will be fine for what I'm doing. It'll be all trimmed out on the inside. And for the very corner back section, I'll be using this right here, a corner piece. So with that stainless steel diamond plate all the way up to here, this, raise this up. This will cover that edge and then the diamond plate from there down. And this all the way over to that edge. So everything on the inside of this bed is gonna be composite decking material and just some simple materials. All this right here I got from Lowe's. So literally $100 for all the material for the decking and about $250 for all the aluminum and screws. All right, here we are at this stage of the build on this bed. Now these bed risers that I built, this is the mount that holds these bed sides to the truck. Let's go ahead, start working on the inside of this bed floor. Okay, here are the little blocks of wood that I've made. These right here will go right in between the bed and they'll fit right in between these pieces here and then butt all the way up, all the way against the bed floor. All along this brace, and all along this brace here, I have those spacers set into place. So all my boards are spaced exactly the same distance. Um, after measuring, this right here comes up to being 0.74 inches of a space that I need. So I went ahead and cut those 0.74. They slid right into place. They ain't gotta be perfect because of course there's gonna be both separating as long as you don't have a gap. So now I have those exactly where I want those. All I'm gonna do from this point is measure my sides. Of course, gotta take up slack here because the tailgate here, but measure my sides and then cut my sides on an angle on the ends and on the ends here so that they can all tie in together. one for the end. Now when making all my angles, I picked this little old cheap tool here up for about a couple bucks over at Lowe's. You can sit your corner edge on that and that will be 
your angle you're going to be cutting right there so those are going to be the angles you're going to be cutting on all your corners so they can butt up tight all the way around the bed okay here's an example piece that i just finished up now this piece will go along that back rail against the cab this will be what holds the wood up underneath and down to the floor so this right here will be right up on top right there and then i've got the bolts and these bolts just slide through just like that and then bolt through on the back side of the bed so this panel right here that panel right there this goes on that panel right above the wood right there so so right like that and i've cut it at an angle so that each of them will go all the way around as an angle there's the strip bolted to the front of the bedside you can see i have a couple pieces of wood there just sitting under there so that i can make sure it's spaced correctly show you I made that an angle so it sits just like that so that'll be the corner of that inside bedside pocket right there now there you can see i've got the hold down aluminum pieces all along the inside edge of the bed i have another strip that will go along this piece right here now for the back section here to tie it all in i've cut this piece long enough to reach all the way to the bedside and then on top i cut it right down the side there and then down the edge on both sides so there you see how i made that cut now this section here all this right here is going to be replaced with some diamond plate all along the bottom of that it'll tuck up in underneath that aluminum and bend all the way along this now this section here, you say, well, that's rusted. Well, none of this right here, this is this means nothing. This is not bracing for the bed at all. The bracing all runs off the frame I made. This right here, I've just kept this in just for something to hold my diamond plate. I've spaced them out evenly all the way along the bottom there and along the sides for the side rails and along the front. And then tied it in real nicely right there at the corner on both sides so right here's where we're at so far now i'm gonna cut each of my strips and then now be sure when you cut your strips don't just cut them all at the same length because one could be a little longer a little shorter just by a hair because that back panel's had a lot of abuse over the years so the, it could be a little a little off so make sure you cut them one by one so i'm gonna cut them one by one and once I've cut them one by one, I will make sure I drill a hole there, there, and for the other one. So if those cross members definitely get a screw or a bolt. And then in between, those are 20 inches apart. So in between those 20s at 10, I will put a bolt. And then I will put another one right here, of course, with washers on the bottom, just like they did from the factory. Okay, now anytime you're gonna use two pieces to piece together for something that's gonna be at least visible, you need to at least make sure that your two pieces are gonna correspond and line up. Now I've made this to where after I've made my cut right there, it can overlap each other and line up perfectly with the diamond plate. Cause you don't wanna just stick these together and something be off and be crooked and not line up. So you wanna make sure you get these right here cut to where they line up perfectly before you stick them on there. So now let's go ahead, start getting these on the back of that bed. Here are the aluminum pieces that we just bent these right here will sit flush with this bottom and then slide right up and underneath this channel right here now i have to loosen this channel back up slide this in and tighten it back down once that's achieved i'll drill some holes in it here along the bottom and just put some rivets we won't be doing the rivets here yet that right there is going to be something we're going to wait till we get the bed in clear so this right here is just a process just to go ahead and show you exactly where we're standing now it's time for the bed strips now the strips are a little long i picked these up from lowe's i've just marked exactly they're a little bit over what they need to be because i'm going to use a sander and i'm going to sand them down so that they don't have no gaps so that's what i'll be doing now i'm going to go ahead cut these i've already drilled the holes in my supports that'll help to hold the wood and then there'll be a hole every other center section I've just finished up cutting all of my uh, strips here. I've cut them to where they're exactly perfect with the line there. And I've drilled all my holes and chamfered them. 
you can see right there, these will be bolts and washers. So all of my holes are drilled now for my strips of aluminum. Okay, that's pretty much all I need to do to tell y'all exactly how you can use just Lowe's materials, some angle pieces of aluminum, some stripping of aluminum, and some composite deck boards, or if you prefer, you can do wood. But that's what I've done on this part right here, this bed. Now everyone should easily be able to do the same thing I've done on their bed. Now yes, some people may think, why wouldn't you just buy the kit? If you go to a car show, every single Ford F100 you see out there is obviously probably gonna have that bed kit in there. It's gonna have the little metal strip, loom or whatever. It's gonna be the same stuff on every bed. Or if I take this to a car show, I'm gonna be able to tell people, hey, go to 1194 video and check out how you can make your bed look like this one, and then it could be different than everyone else's at the show. So hopefully I will see you out there at a car show in the future, and you've done this to your bed and can say, hey, I watched your video and I copied it, and it looks just the same. Thank you guys for watching this part of the video. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, liking and sharing, and I'll catch you guys on the next part of this channel on what we're going to be doing to this truck. Uh, we're going to finish this 55. After that, we're going to be going to a 67 Mustang we purchased. So thank you. Again, subscribe, like, comment, share, and I'll catch you on the next video.